This is one of the worst channels I've seen in terms of blatant exploitation. They have 130,000 subscribers on YouTube, 387,000 on TikTok. It's a mom that vlogs her life with her daughter that has Down syndrome and autism. And you guessed it, the goal is to raise awareness, but she's doing so at the expense of her daughter. She started uploading to YouTube like five years ago when her daughter was about 11 and her platform keeps growing. So I just want to talk about it because who is encouraging this? Now, before even watching the actual content, when you look through her YouTube, the thumbnails and the video titles, there's like major red flags. Tons and tons of thumbnails where her daughter's just having a full-on meltdown. I'm covering her face, but she's crying in every single one of these thumbnails here. There's a three-part series, not one, not two, but a three-part series on her daughter getting her period for the first time. There's a video called First Trip to the OBGYN. Actually, any type of doctor's visit requires a full-on vlog. Her daughter starting birth control, part one, part two. So that's just before we've even watched anything, we're off to a great start. So let's look at her most popular video. Um, this one has 10 million views. First off, again, the thumbnail, she's just bawling her eyes out, complete with the crying emoji. <laughs> she's taking her daughter to swim lessons for the first time and her daughter's protesting, having a meltdown, which I'm sure is to be expected. She's in a new environment, new sensations, new people, and she has difficulty communicating. So obviously mom films the entire thing. And she has this text that comes up on the screen just in case you missed it. Oh, this is her first meltdown. This is her second meltdown. She's so dramatic, lol. Imagine 10 million people watching you do this new scary thing and you just don't have a choice. At the end of this video, the mom, she's talking about kind of things she did beforehand to kind of prep her daughter for the swim lesson, how it feels as a parent when your kid's screaming in public and everyone's staring at you. She's just talking about it as a mom from her perspective. That's all this video needs to be if spreading awareness is what you're after, but there's no reason to show the actual meltdown. It just makes like a spectacle of her daughter like, oh my goodness, everyone, look at this. Look what I have to deal with. This is crazy. And it's not just like a couple seconds of her crying. It's a really good chunk of the video. It's just insane. And this is just one of many videos featuring a meltdown. The next video is titled Back to School Shopping with Tantrums. In my opinion, this one's really bad. The family's in Target. The daughter is having a meltdown. She's pushing the cart. She's crying. She's being very loud in the store. It then cuts to her daughter sitting on the floor and her mom comes up with the camera already filming and forces her to like apologize on camera and is kind of reprimanding her there. I'm very, very disappointed in your behavior. Look at me. You still owe mommy and your brothers an apology. Are you gonna say sorry? I wanna hear it. I'm not asking, this is an expectation. I wanna hear you say sorry. Even if it takes you a minute, I wanna hear it. I'm not asking, this is an expectation. That behavior you did in the store was absolutely unacceptable. And I need you to say sorry. Sorry. Thank you. Forcing her daughter to apologize to the camera for a YouTube video. You owe mommy and your brothers an apology. This is so embarrassing and degrading. This next one is titled Tantrums in the Community. I always feel like having the camera out when someone's feeling any type of intense emotion is just so intimidating. So her daughter doesn't like super hot food. Apparently everyone in the family knows this. This clip is interesting because she's already filming before she gives her hot pizza. And it seems like they've already had to take it away because when she gives it to her daughter and she starts to touch it immediately, the whole family's like so annoyed with her. They're like, stop touching it. Stop touching it. It's hot, sweetheart, you gotta wait. Stop. Blow on it, go. Yeah. Your I'm not saying it's true, but it seems like she gave it on purpose to get that reaction. She's filming, she gives her the hot pizza because she knows that it gets a reaction and then they take it away because she can't wait again for it to cool down. Why else would you have the camera ready to go when you know it's too hot for her to eat? The whole clip is just gross. And you know what? The thumbnail for this video is this. So that just makes me think that even more. Okay, please watch how this next video starts. This is like almost comical that she can edit this and upload it and look at it and be like, oh yeah, that's good. Immediately her daughter's screaming, crying, and then it cuts to happy little subscribe to my channel intro. And actually a lot of her videos start this way. Crying, screaming, oh, subscribe. Happy little subscribe song. <laughs> 
the crying thumbnail paired with that intro it just kind of makes it like the meltdown is the whole point of this video yeah i guess so because this video is titled her daughter's name starts with a a struggles with meltdowns so let's document them so they're trying to do online schooling of some kind she doesn't want to do it she's having a meltdown and mom's filming the entire thing and then starts reprimanding her you're not even trying want to work for ipad e or no Okay, then let's try. You're not even trying. You're just sitting on your bottom. You're not even trying. Well, you need to do something or you're not going to get iPad back. You need to work for iPad. You're disrupting your brothers doing their homework. You don't understand that? You're disrupting them. They're in Zoom meetings too, and they have class too, and you're disrupting them. Do you understand? You're being very rude and very inconsiderate. You're, be you're, you're being very rude and very disrespectful to your class, to your brothers, to your mom. Your class is being so good and everybody's following direction with the ball and you're not listening and you're making me very angry. She says in the caption, she was so worked up so she didn't do what she normally did. If you really have her best interests at heart and she's so worked up, why don't you take this intimidating element of a camera filming this entire thing and just remove it from the environment. We don't need to have our phones up filming when people are screaming and crying. Talk to her like a human without the camera. She's like, oh, you're disrupting your brothers. They're trying to do their work. Everyone's being so good and you're not, you're making me mad. That's just wild to post it online. It's not spreading awareness. It's spreading like the embarrassment. And I could be wrong. Like she has a lot of videos. I haven't watched them all, but I haven't seen her doing that to her other kids when they're having a tantrum or a meltdown. They get to have their upset moment in private just because they don't have Down syndrome and autism. Is that why? She's not bringing the camera up to their face and asking them to apologize. Like why does your daughter not deserve that same privacy? She also has another vlog of a trip to Target and they're trying on a bunch of dresses. The daughter's not happy. She doesn't want to be trying on dresses. She's upset and she's crying with like every single dress, but for some reason it has to be filmed. Pick which one first? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god! Okay, well mommy's gonna pick then. We're gonna try this one first, okay? Yes? Oh god, oh god! Let's try it on. Wow, can you turn around? Oh god, oh god! Okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay. Come on. I love you. But I am very disappointed in your behavior today when we tried on clothes. You knew how to be a good listener. Yeah. And you were not a good listener when we were in the store. It did not go well. And I did show some of it in this video. I didn't want to show too much of the meltdown that she had. I didn't want to show too much of the meltdown. We saw more than enough of the meltdown. That's the thing is she thinks she's doing well by not showing the entire thing, but we saw plenty of the meltdown. We saw a good few minutes of the meltdown. Like maybe just try showing zero of the meltdown. I don't know, zero. She had this caption, oh, she protested the entire time, but we made it through. Like, oh, thank goodness we made it through. What would we do without the Target dress try on vlog? She has acknowledged that she knows people don't really like seeing the meltdowns. She's gotten negative comments about it before, but she's like, oh, well, I'm posting it to help. Like that doesn't just make it okay. How, how to help who and to help how? Oh, because so-and-so in your YouTube comments says they love seeing it and it helped them so much. Okay, but then you're putting some random in your YouTube comments above your own daughter's privacy and dignity. I saw this one TikTok that she had that was actually a great example of spreading awareness about meltdowns and Down syndrome and autism. Didn't need to show raw emotions. Her daughter's face wasn't even in it. No privacy lost, no dignity lost. If you are new here, I'm has Down syndrome and autism. Meltdowns and tantrums are very common in public places. Something that has helped is giving her a task at the store, like pushing the cart. And on the days this technique doesn't work, we use Caroline's carts. I'd like to see more stuff like that. That's fine. So I mentioned earlier that every single like doctor's appointment requires a vlog. She has tons. I just picked a couple that I want to talk about because they're really bad. So this video is titled, Doctor Visits Are So Difficult. And again, it starts off immediately with the scream, crying, and then cuts to the happy subscribe intro. She films most of, if not the entire doctor's appointment. Every time she's poked and prodded and inspected and examined. And it's not like little clips here and there. It's never ending footage of the staff struggling to take her blood because she's having a hard time. 
And she's just standing there like 10 feet away behind the camera going, it's okay every once in a while. Why is it helpful for anyone to see someone so distressed and scared and just not happy? Like this is truly awful to watch. Could you imagine seeing a child screaming and crying that much and someone is like 10 feet away filming the entire thing? And no, I'm not trying to say like, oh, she should be at her daughter's side and comforting her. Like she's there, her dad's there. He's holding her down because she has to be like she's fine. It's just so off-putting to imagine if my child was that upset, the last thing I would do is film it. Like I just keep thinking, why is it just because she has Down syndrome and autism, does it make it okay for this stuff to be filmed? And then in case you missed the last video, there's another video that's okay. basically the exact okay. same thing where she's getting blood drawn and it's literally three minutes straight of these two people trying to draw her blood and she's crying the whole time. Like the more I watch this, the angrier I get that it even exists and is online. All that needs to be said here without showing anything that we just saw, she has a hard time at the doctor, anything with needles, she has to be held down because she's very strong and it can't be done otherwise and it's stressful for everyone and then i can't even make this up the next video is titled we can't get rid of this nail fungus if this was any other member of your family would this video exist no and not that nail fungus is like this bad awful thing to be ashamed of but it's just like every little medical detail no matter what it's just blasted out there for everyone to see. Every single detail of her life, her medical history, her medication, any problem she has, it's just aired out on YouTube. So this video, her daughter is getting her nails worked on and she's crying like, thank God this video exists. As you guys saw on the footage and did have a very hard time at the podiatrist today, it was just oh, so stressful for her because I know it must hurt. She wouldn't cry like that unless it's hurting her. So that's great. We all just saw your daughter screaming from being in pain. Like what do the medical staff think when they see these parents filming in these high tension scenarios? If it's as stressful as you say, just put the camera down, be in the moment with your daughter and then talk about it on camera afterwards by yourself. I have always said, if you want to spread awareness, you can just spread it, talk about things from your perspective. But she has proven me wrong with that, <laughs> with her whole period content and birth control content and all of that. I guess that only works if you're keeping your daughter anonymous. I don't think it's fair for her, for you to open up this conversation on her behalf because you've made her into this public figure. Like everyone knows her name, everyone knows her age, everyone knows everything about her, where she goes to school, what she likes to do for fun. Everyone knows her entire life and then to dig deeper and talk about these more personal things where she doesn't have a choice. I'm not gonna share clips from these videos because there's nothing that I can share without crossing a line, in my opinion. Yeah, I just don't think it's fair to open up this in-depth conversation where you have people commenting back and forth about your daughter's puberty journey. You're not doing this for your other two kids and you have no idea who's participating in these conversations for the wrong reasons. For example, I might be reading too much into this, but it seems really weird and gross on her video where she's taking her to the OBGYN for the first time. So if you scrub on YouTube, like search through the video, kind of jump around, it will highlight parts of the video that are most replayed by users. And on the OBGYN video, the most replayed part is her daughter getting up on to the doctor's bed, putting her legs up and the mom's talking about, oh, you look like such a big girl here. Like, I can't believe you're big enough to go to the doctor like this. Like, isn't that gross? To me, that's really gross. Why would that be the most replayed part of the video. Yeah, that's the thing with YouTube. You just don't know who is participating in this stuff. And everything I've shown today is just a portion of what she's put out there. Like, I see the argument in her comments all the time. Oh, you'd have no idea how much you're helping me. I mean, most of them mean well. They might be coming from someone who is in a similar situation. But then that's the thing is like, you're putting helping people above your daughter's privacy. So if you happen to find her channel, don't go leaving like hate comments or anything like that. That's not the point of this. I just want to point out like what not to do, what not to watch, what not to encourage. I'd like people to think twice, think a hundred times about what you're posting when the subject of the video, when the subject of your whole channel is a vulnerable person. If enough people start pointing out that stuff like this isn't okay, then we'd eventually see less of it. Anyway, that's it. Bye.